that dispenses Diet Coke all day. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, I thought you were going to say sangrias. <laughs> or margaritas. I know. <laughs> Six months ago, I got a, an email from uh, one of my colleagues in uh, Springfield, Missouri, where they were trialing this system. And as a uh, distributor type rep for Depew, I work straight for Johnson & Johnson on the, on the trauma side, but for Depew, we're a distributor, and so we are allowed to pick up side items, which this is a side item, it's not a Johnson & Johnson item. But it's a sterilization container made by a company called Turbid. So I kind of saw the emails flying around, uh, actually went to St. Louis, saw this thing in action. And I think it's, it's the new, next up and coming real deal. So basically, um, you can now put instrumentation in this module up to 15 trays sterilize it without wrapping any of the trays, bring it into the room, open it, and take everything out. So you want to go through and just pop through it? Yeah. So basically it has <coughs> six locks. Six. Five. Okay, so if that lock's not there, it's no good. So, but you, you have six locks. There's six openings here. It's a circular. You're going to be taking them all. The circulator is going to take this off. Check that filter. You pull the filter out just like you would on a uh, container. <laughs> now this is sterile, and in the video it says the tech is yes. taking this off. So the tech comes up, pops a finger in here, pulls this out, set it up here. Your trays are all in here, basically. You're going to pop your trays out, put them on the table. These little out, right? separators dropped up top. So you can put an entire case in here. You could put your retractor tray, everything. We could put drills in this as well. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, we're going to have a backup. Okay. So if we do, we have. Let's say we have three Depew needs, and your first need you open up and something happens that we're uh, there's water in it. Okay, then we're going to give you that that third knee, pull it in, let it you set up in time that the you need the third knee. We'll have this ready for you again. I just didn't know if there's more of a risk of having water in there. Well, we're going to do a lot of runs because okay. I did this one last night and there's no water. Okay. So we're going to do a lot of runs to make sure, and uh, it's a trial. But we're going to definitely have you a backup just in case because we don't want to delay any cases. Okay. And so but you can also put your basic in here. So I'd like to, what I want to do is do a run with 15 trays in here and see, you know, because um, you can stack them any way you want. This you isn't a full side load. Side. Yeah. Uh, front to back. Um, but you can, uh, like, the different places are, they'll sterilize them downstairs, and then they'll push them upstairs, outside the room, you know, the night before surgery so that they're out of the way. And what we'll do is, this will be labeled pod one, we'll have pod two and pod three, that's what we're trying. And every tray that's in here will get scanned, and then the label will be on, I mean, the list will be on this card, along with, you know, the information you need. What about the separators between trays? If there's trays stacked on top of each other without a separator, does that make them not sterile? Does that matter? No, it just it wouldn't matter, but I, I would be more inclined that it would be wet if the air's not getting through or the vacuum. So it's, it's a must that we, we do it diligently downstairs. 
And there's a bunch of these okay. for each pod. Now, when you guys are doing like ortho basics and ortho retractors, will you still have towels in the tray? Yes. Yeah. So when are we going to start the trial? We're going to do one of his cases first. <laughs> so probably next week sometime? Next Friday. Next Friday we got three duties. Okay. So that'd be perfect. Do any of you want to come up and There's YouTube look videos. At if you look up Turbid, uh, there's one that shows loading it, and then there's one show showing the team unloading it. Have any other questions? Anybody seen this before? So everything inside is considered sterile. So if the tech, when they're reaching in, they hit the back wall trying to get their tray, it's sterile. It's sterile. still sterile. Mm -hmm. Put the inside of the casket. Yep. So let's just see if this is the new generation.